Hello and welcome to Apostolic News about the truth. We're doing live on channel 4 and 5. Nice to be in the presence of the Lord again. <coughs> Let's pray before I start. Dear Heavenly Father, we love you, Lord. I praise and worship your holy name, Lord. We're searching the truth, Lord. Without truth, Lord, we can't please you, Lord. You are the way, the truth, and the life, Lord. You're giving us why. Now we need to search for the truth. Please open our eyes, Lord, to all the truth you have for us. Praying and asking in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Truth. When you come to church, Why? you want to hear the truth. Without the truth, we're not going anywhere, and we are nobody, and we are nothing. That's why all our lives we got to search and ask the Holy Spirit to reveal us what is the truth. Let's open Matthew 5. It's a beautiful chapter. Gospels of our Lord Jesus Christ. Matthew 5, verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. I was brought up in a Catholic family and from the young age I loved the Lord but I was very poor in the spirit. <coughs> in the Catholic Church you'll never get rich. So I was all my life, when I was going to Catholic Church, I was poor. Verse three, uh, 6, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after the righteousness, for there they shall be filled. Blessed are they. You are hunger. I had hunger to search the Lord. I had hunger back where I was born to get hold of the Bible because we had no Bibles there. The country where I lived was persecuted by the government and if they will find the Bible in your house you'll get locked up in the jail and could be killed executed so those people who, are, who have hunger and thirst after the righteousness righteousness of God righteousness to search the truth the truth of God is our righteousness and that's where the hunger 
and says is moving forward after the righteousness of God which is the truth of God. Verse 10 Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sight for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So I was poor in the spirit I was hungry and thirsty to look for the truth and I got blessed when I did that and then the devil is watches you once you searched you've been hungry and you were hungry all our life to the rest of our lives we are hungry and thirsty for the truth sake. So when you get that food, praying in tongues is so important. That food of God's truth and and the shoes you get inside of you, the devil starting persecuting you. So verse 11, verse 10, Blessed are thy which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. In 2004, we start, started going to one of the charismatic churches and that's where I got hunger and thirst to search the truth. And after I got some of it by the miracle of God, he was supplying me with it, feeding me, giving me drink of his righteousness, the Lord's righteousness. Devil started persecuting me. Verse 11, Blessed are ye when man shall revile, revile you. So blessed those he gets hired when you get righteousness of God. So blessed are ye when men shall revile, revile you and persecute you and shall sigh all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. So if people say evil things about those people who search the truth, go after the God's righteousness, and then they they sign against you falsely. So the danger here, people can say evil things about you, but make sure you're not falsely accused. Make, make them wrong. So make them accusing you falsely, but inside of you, you are right with the Lord. You've got the Lord's truth. And those devils, those people who are persecuting you, they're persecuting you falsely for the Lord's sake, they are in the wrong. And you gotta prove, you gotta prove that the Lord is the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ is on your side, you have the truth, and they accusing you falsely. And once you prove that, you make them 
devils. And they accusing you falsely, they in trouble with the Lord. Verse 12, rejoice. So when you have the truth inside of you, you've been getting all this spiritual food over the years, and you've been drinking that pure water of God's righteousness, you're rejoicing. And be exceeding glad, exceeding, abundantly glad with the Lord, because the Lord is on your side. For great is your reward in heaven, great, great, there's no greater, there's no greater reward than you'll be rewarded for the righteousness side which you searched all your life on this earth. You've been hungry, you've been thirsty for God's truth. There is no greater reward. There's no greater reward. In heaven, for so I persecuted they the prophets which are where before you. So devil hides the truth from thy one. From the beginning, he was a murderer by lying to Eve and Adam right from the beginning. Devil hides the truth and he goes opposite what God says in truth. Devil goes opposite. And the prophets were persecuted before me and before a lot of other people who are searching for the truth. And when they're finding it, that's where persecution begins. And I was persecuted at Hillsong Church after I witnessed to them from 2004, in 2006, they started persecuting me in a different ways, going everywhere I go, sending their paparazzi, playing songs and, and making movies from the journey I had and went through at Hillsong and all the witnessing I was giving to them so that was emotional, emotional persecution and physical. They were following me everywhere, not talking to me, not saying to me anything, just, just persecuting me physically and emotionally, especially emotionally. And when, when I went there, I tried some ways to get to be accepted different ways now the persecution continued and the Lord says we are blessed so when they are persecuting you God sends you a blessing I'm a blessed person. Praise the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. So when you're hungry and thirsty for the righteousness sake, when you're searching the truth, devil steps in and starts Punishing you for it. So who is the devil? I don't know. But I know who knows who is the devil. I devil, the devil, I know the one who knows. So let's ask him, the Lord Jesus Christ, Please tell us who is the devil. 
Let's open Matthew 23, 33. Matthew 23. Verse 33. Ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? There is that old serpent from the Garden of Eden, right from the beginning. Devil is a liar. And the Lord Jesus Christ here in red letters, the Lord Jesus Christ speaking. The Lord Jesus Christ says, and he speaks to the religious leaders. So all the religious, re, religious leaders in every church and every religious place where they lie about God, they're serpents. And God says, how can he escape the damnation of hell? There's a question mark. So there's the answer. There's the answer for a Skype, the greatest Skype. So there's the devil who lies about the truth. Let's open Matthew 16, 23. Matthew 16, 23. Verse 21, from that time forth began Jesus to shew unto his disciples. So all of the disciples, he had 12 disciples and he was shewing unto them how that he must guide unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. So we have here be killed, that's negative, and be raised again the third day positive. So he was telling this to his disciples, four disciples, twelve apostles. And then Peter, when he heard that, when he heard that, he embraced the negative and be killed. Apostle Peter loved the Lord Jesus Christ. He loved his Lord. And he didn't want him to be killed. He didn't want him to die. He didn't want to... He didn't want him to be to suffer, to suffer for many things. And uh, Apostle Peter tried to protect him and say, Lord, he says, then Peter took him, took him from other disciples, took him on the side and was telling him in private. And began to rebuke. So then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from the Lord, this shall not be unto thee. So Apostle Peter was sticking up for the Lord and said, I don't want you to be killed. So I, Apostle Peter was showing to the Lord that he loves him and he cares for him and he'll protect the Lord no matter what and in reply Jesus said to him verse 23 but he turned and said unto Peter get thee behind me Satan thou art an offense unto me for thou soberest not the things that be of God but those that be of man 
So things that be of God, God the Father sent his son to this earth to continue telling us the truth and to die for our fleshy sins. And uh, the Lord Jesus Christ said, it's an offense unto me that you're going against the truth against what God the Father has sent me here on this earth. I've got a mission from God the Father. And Apostle Peter was saying against that and it's an offense. So what we can take from here that no matter what, you got to stick up for the truth, believe the truth. If you start believing a liar, being deceived by Satan with lies, that's offense unto the Lord. You're offending the Lord Jesus Christ. So I, in your Christian walk, walk if you're a Christian, you walk to search the truth, try never offend the Lord Jesus Christ by believing some lies and telling to others lies. Avoid that no matter what. Avoid it. So there's another devil here. When he offends the Lord Jesus Christ, by not following the truth. Matthew 26, 50. Let's open Matthew 26, 50. So there's four disciples there. Peter was a, a, offended the Lord Jesus Christ by being opposite the truth. So here in verse 50, Matthew 26, one of the disciples, again, one of the chosen apostles, yeah, sorry, before this verse, we go to John 6, 70. John 6, 7. John 6, 7. So that's the, that another disciple, another apostle. And in 70, Jesus says, Jesus answered them, Have not I chosen you twelve? And one of you is a devil. So the Lord Jesus Christ chose 12 apostles and those 12, 12 apostles, some of them were fishermen, some of them were chosen from other places, I don't know exactly those 12 apostles where they've been chosen from, so some fishermen, some whatever, but the uh, The Lord Jesus Christ in verse 71 says he spoke of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. So the Lord Jesus Christ chose one of the apostles, a devil, to betray the Lord Jesus Christ. So someone had to, and who else? Only a devil can portray the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that uh, Judas is carried. I think, I think, he was chosen from Bible College because from the Bible College that's where all the lies coming out. And all those who betray the Lord Jesus Christ with lies and deceit and deceiving the church all the while. So 
Desde devils. Now you know who devils are. All right. I've got special guest today. He is a devil. He is Luciferian. Let's see him go. I don't want you hearing that I'm telling you that he is a devil. I want you to hear exactly what's coming out of devil's mouth. And then you'll know that I'm telling you the truth. Amen. Let's see him go. guest today is a devil and his name is Benny Hinn. So let's go to Matthew 26 50. Matthew 26 50. And Jesus said unto him, Friend, wherefore art thou kind? Then came they and laid hands on Jesus and took him. Verse 49, And forthwith he came to Jesus and said, Hail, Master, and kissed him. So Judas is carried, kissed, kissed the Lord Jesus Christ, betrayed him by the kiss. That's how nice the devil is. So in all those congregations, devil is always nice. He'll never offend anyone. He'll be the nicest as possible on this earth. That's the devil. So he kissed the Lord Jesus Christ, portrayed him, and what the Lord Jesus said to him, he called him friend. So devils is our friends. But the Lord Jesus Christ called Judah Iscariot, friend. So I've got special guest today, Benny Devil Hin friend. Devils is our friends. Amazing. Well, when you think about it, Jesus Christ said, Offenses must, must come, but woe unto them by who they'll come. So devil is the biggest offender, devil is the biggest deceiver and liar, 
and he's our friend. So when devil lies to us, when devil persecuting us, when we see the lies and we know that uh, the Holy Ghost is opening our hearts and telling us that there's a lie that goes search the truth, friends, devil's helping us to go and search the truth. And then the Lord Jesus Christ reward, rewarding us for it. We're getting rewarded. But we must tell everybody, we must witness who these devils are. Because there is a big danger to us from these devils. If you put your faith into these devils, you're in a big trouble. So Benny Hinn, Benny Devil, he and friend, he is here releasing Satan on charismatic Pentecostals congregations all around America. So all the charismatic churches that are possessed by the devil, Benny Hinn releases Satan with his Satanist friends, and then all other charismatic churches around the world following them. And I went here in Australia, in Sydney, Hillsong Church, they following the Satanists. You were releasing devils into congregations.